my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, I just did a video over my fall favorites, but I never did a video over perfumes that I reach for during those fall months. Um, I just picked a few perfumes that I liked and wanted to kind of showcase them in my fall favorites, but I used so many different perfumes during those few fall months that we have. In fact, we're going into December now and it's still kind of fall here. So we have warm days and then we have cool crisp days. We don't have really cold, cold weather yet. That doesn't really start until like maybe a couple of days in December, but January is really when we start getting into our colder days. So right now we're just really in the cooler temperatures. It may drop down into, you know, the thirties, but it doesn't last very long. We had a lot of like rainy days and cool days. So these are kind of the things that I would reach for. And then we would have, you know, more of your hotter, more tropical uh, temperatures. And so I also included those things that I was kind of reaching for. And also that I brought with us on vacation because we went to San Antonio uh, for about a week. Uh, we went to San Marcos and then we went to Waco. And those are some perfumes that I used during those times as well. So if you're interested in what my fall favorite perfumes are and what I kind of reached for during those fall months, just stick right here with me and let's get into the video. Okay, you can have a nice crisp fall day without having Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This perfume smells so good. I really love it. A lot of people have told me that it smells like root beer to them and they're like, that's not sexy. But root beer is kind of sweet and I think it's rich, but I don't get so much as the root beer as I do the sweetness and the kind of caramely smell that I get. This is more candy-like to me. It's nothing like root beer. That doesn't, I just love the way people interpret these scents because that is not what I get from this. And it's so good on a fall day where it's, you know, kind of rainy and overcast, you know, kind of I wouldn't say gloomy, but you know what I mean. It's rainy and it's cold and you want something that's warm and cozy and something that you just, it just smells so good on your skin. Then definitely Hypnotic Poison Dior would be the perfume that you would choose because it's just that. It's so warm and cozy. I absolutely love this perfume and I will be wearing this perfume into the colder months. Okay, the next perfume is by Vagari and this is Indian Garnet. I think that the coral is really, really a beautiful scent, but this Indian Garnet, it's kind of richer where it has more of that ambery and woodsy notes. So it is floral, but it's just a lot more of a heavier fragrance, but it's not too heavy. It's not something that, you know, I don't think this would be something that I would wear, you know, during the cold, cold months, but this is perfect for fall weather where the temperatures are, you know, like in the fifties. So I really reach for this a lot. It smells really good, very feminine. Like I said, it's floral, but it has those ambery woodsy notes and I just love this perfume. And this is the um, Eau de Toilette. So I really, really love this, definitely reach for this during the fall months. And I forgot to tell you, my uh, Hypnotic Poison by Dior, this is the Eau de Toilette version. So I just wanted to um, distinguish that because I know a lot of people prefer the uh, Eau de Parfum. And so I, I don't have the Eau de Parfum. I do plan to add that to my collection, but right now I have the Eau de Toilette and I absolutely love it. Okay, the next perfume is Black Tulip by Nest Fragrances, and this is definitely something. It's spicy, floral, um, it's rich. It just smells amazing. I really, really love this, but it's kind of lighter on the skin. It's, it's not too, too heavy or anything like that, but I just really, really love this fragrance. And 
I just reached for this so much. This was so good on those cool, rainy days. And it's just something, again, that's cozy and something that can just wraps around you and just keeps you cozy and warm. So um, Black Tulip by Nest Fragrances. Love these little uh, Nest Fragrances. They have so many in this line. And you definitely need to check out Nest Fragrances. But this one is the Black Tulip. And another perfume that, of course, is rich, decadent, gourmand, so sweet, and it is definitely one of my favorites, and this is a celebrity fragrance, and this is by Jessica Simpson, and it is fancy, and oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful sweet gourmand fragrance. I've done a review over this, but it is so warm and it's definitely something that, um, it's, it's just kind of a pick me up as well. Cause when I wear this, I feel very feminine and it makes me smile, put a smile on my face. And that's what's so great about perfumes is, you know, it's such a mood enhancer. And I really, really do believe in aromatherapy and how, you know, this kind of can enhance your mood and this puts me in such a great mood oh my goodness it's so good and so inexpensive definitely add this to your perfume arsenal if you do not have this definitely get this one it's fancy by jessica simpson and i really love like floral perfumes just sweet you know fruity and oh my goodness this is so good it's ysl's mon Paris, and this is the eau de parfum so this is something that i reach for um like i said it's fruity it's sweet it is a gourmand fragrance but it's not too overpowering uh, to me i do use a light hand it can become a little bit heavier at times if you overspray it so definitely be cautious but it's whimsical fun and it's just an all around great scent and i definitely wore this a lot during those fall months so, okay now this was a shocker because uh Katy Perry, she came out with Indy, and I got the set. I got Indy, and it came with this. I got this at Walgreens, actually, in San Antonio. It was at the uh, one of the Walgreens there, and this is Katy Perry's Indy Visible, and this was the one that I absolutely fell in love with, and I wore this while we were in San Antonio. I wore this like several days back to back because it just was so... The days there... When we first got there, they were kind of warm. I got this set and I tried it and I'm, I just fell in love with this Indivisible. And it's very, I don't know how to explain it. It's so, it's like coconut, but it has some florals, you know, floralness to it, but it's spicy. It just smells really good. I love this perfume. I haven't done a review over this perfume or anything like that, but I'll try to leave some notes up here about this perfume. But if you don't have this one, definitely go and sniff this. The ending was okay. I mean, it just didn't blow me away like this one did. For some reason, this was like the cream of the crop for me. So, and I don't know, it was just fun because it was lighthearted, but it held on during those, you know, hotter temperatures. It was just something easy to reach for. Absolutely love it. Now, Lancome, I love their perfume. So, I do have La Via Belle, and this is La Via Belle Eclat, and oh my word. This smells like La Via Belle, but it has more of a brighter opening, zestier opening, if that makes sense. But on the dry down, it's so sweet and warm and rich and cozy. So th this perfume, if you like La Via Belle, I think you will really like this one. This one I think is just a little bit different um, because of that zestiness, um, that fruitiness opening. But it's just a gorgeous scent and give it a chance. On the dry down, you're just gonna keep sniffing yourself. You're gonna be like, oh my God, this is a beautiful fragrance. And why haven't I picked this up before so and not a lot of people talk about this particular one la via belle is just like you know it's a mass appealing fragrance everybody 
you know knows about it so this is definitely something that offers a little twist and i really really love this perfume okay so if you haven't seen my Tresor collection, I definitely recommend you check that out. I will leave a link up above. And of course, everyone knows if you watch my channel that I love Lancome's Tresor La Nuit. But the one that I'm gonna be talking about is not really talked about a lot. Um, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about it and I absolutely love this perfume. This is Tresor, but this is the Luminous or Luminous um, uh, Eau de Parfum and it smells so good. It is a clean scent, but it's sweet and decadent and it's another one of those cozy, rich perfumes. It's creamy. It just smells so good on the skin, and it's definitely something that I reached for during those days where I wanted something a little more um, heavier, but not too heavy, but rich and something sweet. So if you haven't tried this one, definitely give this one a sniff. I, this whole line is just amazing I can't say enough about this line it's just awesome but um, yeah definitely check this one out it's very warm and cozy and just so creamy on the skin I, I just love this perfume okay so that wraps up my fall perfumes I reach for different perfumes just because of the different temperatures the different moods that I'm in and that's just me just fly by the seat of my pants that's just what I do around here you know and so I just thought I would share this with you I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed the video definitely leave me a thumbs up and also leave me some comments down below on the perfumes that you reach for during those fall months I cannot wait to you know talk to y'all and find out what y'all are loving and it's just a pleasure to always speak to y'all and I, I just adore y'all um, I'm always putting my emojis I put emojis on every little comment and I just you know it's always a little heart or a little kissy face with a heart and so that just I, I don't know that just gives me a little added oomph to you know add to those little comments so put all those little emojis and definitely leave me some comments also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button today and also hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. So thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.